So what do we got here? Well, uh, we're going to start talking about um, a Belgian skeleton racer. Now, I didn't even know what skeleton racing is, to be honest. I looked it up. It's basically like bobsledding, but with just on a on a sled. Face first as well. Face first, yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it's a valid sport, I guess. Thanks for your approval. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, valid winter sport. Now, she tested negative. She had COVID back in Belgium, I guess. Okay. And yeah, she's she from tests, she, Her name's Kim Mayamans. Yeah. So she tested negative um, multiple times before flying mm. out to Beijing. But when she got to Beijing, she tested positive. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Either way, I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. She tested positive. So she was shifted off to an isolation place. Mm -hmm. But she had a bit of a meltdown. Um, and she had a meltdown because she was told that she could go back to the Olympic Village and isolate there. Yeah. Okay. But then, without alerting her um, her team, without alerting her superiors, without alerting her country or anything, they shifted her off to a completely different isolation area. Like, she didn't know where she went. Nobody told her where she was. Her government didn't know where she was. Nobody knew where she was. And, of course, she was terrified. Imagine all this news saying, like, be careful when you go to China. The Chinese government does tend to disappear to Canadians and <laughs> sure. people like that. And then all of a sudden, you're getting whisked well, away it's, somewhere it's not it's not just that they're like yes you can go back to the olympic village and then you get in the car and they drive in a different direction yeah, and take you to some random saying, place but you have all those pre yeah. preconceived notions in your head but it's the typical chinese thing that they do and the authorities arrest people is they don't care to inform people where they're going you know yeah. so it's like when people get arrested and their families and their friends are like do you know where this person went remember we'd get those text messages when foreigners would go missing does anyone in does anyone know where like oh, john yeah. is john, and they were like who's john they're like oh it's an irish guy yeah he got picked up at a raid at a, right. at a bar and you're like uh okay but like there we, was one you know, one guy that was found tied up in a river and they said it was suicide i remember that remember that guy yeah. he was an irish guy who's playing video games his ps3 was still on in this room and his door was open yeah but i'm talking about like when they officially arrest yeah him. when they officially arrest someone like yeah. when they arrested that guy who pushed the taxi driver and uh, his mom was like yeah. Where, where's my son and yeah. they wouldn't tell him yeah. And it's like two weeks later or whatever he'll surface right and they'll say oh he's being held at this detention center so you can understand how how terrifying it must be for her and so she had this meltdown which i, I mean no we don't have to play we don't it have to play it but she just everybody um give it a little glimpse mm -hmm. some of you have read the good news that i was uh, sent out of the isolation facility we thought this meant I was allowed to return to you get the, the idea. Olympic I want you to pause it, though. I want to talk about something. I didn't want to give anybody uh, some screen time, but the uh, mm -hmm. the shill, the pro CCP shill accounts. Yeah. So when we say that, we're talking about the the white monkey job guys that have YouTube channels that run defense for the CCP. Sure. They were putting out videos about how amazing everyone's experience is and how the Olympians are blown away by the hospitality <laughs> in China and how amazing it is. And they're yeah. doing that. They're running defense for stories like this. Of course. And it's pretty hilarious to see them do that. China is very concerned that stories like this are going to come out. And you'll see actually what happens because they, eventually they came after the story ran because yeah. uh, they're allowed to post online, obviously. How are they going to stop that? Yeah other than threatening them by sure. saying that you're not allowed to post anything political, by the way. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the the story runs and then they go, okay, 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 okay. we're yeah. going to whisk you back to the Olympic Village. Yeah, it's, it's there's insane. No, there's no rules in China. No. So so what happened was, just like you said, she had this meltdown, which went viral. It okay. treats maximum as a close contact. Um, on the way to the spot. village, sure. uh, we did not turn to the village but the ambulance went to another facility where i am now so yeah she's, she's upset because like we said instead of going where she thought she was going she was whisked away somewhere else okay it's not what you want to happen to you now, in china and she was <clears throat> she was told she has to stay there for a further seven days in yeah. that facility yes. you know Away from the Olympic Village, so she can't train, she can't do all that stuff which she was expecting to do. Sure. When this went viral and started to make international news, immediately they came and knocked on her door. So they knocked on her door um, at 11.35 in the, at night. Mm -hmm. And they're like, es and then they escorted her to the Olympic Village. Because that's how it happens in China. Look, the domestic abuse thing I spoke about as well. The guy's beaten his wife for years, whatever, nothing happens. She can report it to the cops all she wants. It's not going to do anything. It goes viral. People start being like, hey, wait, this is crap. 
immediately they go and arrest the guy. You only got five days, but you know what I'm saying? The only way to affect change in China is if the government loses face. Embarrassment. And it's through embarrassment. And this is embarrassing for the Chinese Yeah, government. because if you show someone that's... We'll live in the fear. <laughs> then it's not looking good for all these accommodations that they've yeah. set up. This utopia that they've set up in this closed circuit Beijing prison. Right? Yeah. It goes against the billion dollars that they threw at this. I've also got to say that this woman, um, she's, she, she doesn't understand how bad it is if you're a Chinese person and put into quarantine. Can be. Okay. I mean, I can see whatever, I wherever sympathy. she is. I mean, I've got lots of sympathy, but look at the background. It's like this lovely painting of like mountains and stuff. Let's it's see probably, what happens to the Chinese people. They get forced into quarantine. Yeah, yeah. When a Chinese person gets forced into quarantine, they have a lot more to cry about than she does. I'll tell you that much. This, this is what you get shoved into if you're just a, a Chinese person. You can like- Where's in, the trough? Yeah, like a dog kennel or something like that, you know? Yeah. That's actually nice because they actually have like They've got AC. Flow. Look at that. They, They've got AC. The, the worst ones are when you're welded into your home and you starve to death. Yeah, that's Remember true. that old bit? Oh, yeah, that too. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I just you, you have to understand, again, the, the athletes, they've done absolutely everything in their power to put on a good show and yeah. uh, to, to provide the best. They've probably flown in Michelin star chefs and, you know, made sure everything's great. Of course. But, um, so I actually wanted to say something about the Olympics. If we can get something Olympic related up now, I hope that everyone is boycotting the Olympics currently. Oh, yeah. We don't want NBC's rating or wherever you are that's broadcasting. We don't want their ratings to go up. Yeah. So don't even accidentally be like, hmm, let me just have a look. Don't give them that view. Don't yeah. do it. Don't yeah. do it. Don't watch it on YouTube. Don't watch it on anything. If you want to read an article about it, that's fine. Yeah. I've seen overwhelmingly negative articles across all platforms, which is really making me happy. Yeah. <laughs>